to my fellow uh, seafarers all over the world and brethren in Christ have a blessed uh, day to you all at this time uh, of uh, this uh, crisis I know a lot of people are suffering a lot of people are affected a lot of people are depressed a lot of people are uh, already want to give up but let us remember my brothers and sisters in Christ that there is a hope and we have a hope He never leave us He never forsake us our only hope is our Lord Jesus Christ alone He is the only one that can help us He is the only one that can heal us with this time of pandemic. My brothers and sisters, I know that uh, this time is uh, uh, very critical for everyone. A lot of people who lose their job, who lost their, jo their job, sorry. And then uh, a lot of people suffering hunger. They don't even provide, can even provide food on their table. But let us remember that we have a God. If this problem or crisis it should like the biggest ship in the sea. But remember, the love of God is bigger than the ocean. It's wider than the ocean and deeper than the ocean. God's love is, is never ending. My brethren, let us see the other side that this pandemic bring to us. In the news that there is, the ozone layer have a big hole. But at this time, the ozone layer hole is totally healed, is totally covered. A lot of people or family are never been united. But this time, they are all united and together can have more time to spend in their family. A lot of churches was, was been closed. But God put church in His family, put congregation in His house. A lot of people who don't remember God. And at this time, they remember God. Some, they don't know how to pray. But now, they are praying to God. Remember, my brothers and sister, God says in Jeremiah 29.11, a particular mention in Jeremiah 29.11 says that, For I know the plans for you, declares the Lord, Plans to prosper you, not to harm you, but to give you hope and future. In everything, God has a plan. He knows what is the best for us. I know at this time, He was healing us. God wants us to come back and return to Him. God wants us to be united with Him. If we fully obey God in His Word, then everything will be fine. Everything will be in His hands. Remember, my brothers and sisters, what He say in Second Chronicles 7, 14. It, he mentioned here that if my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will hear, I forgive their sins and I will hear their land. God is willing to forgive us for all our sins and our iniquities. But we need to surrender to Him. We need to surrender our life, all our sins and iniquities. Let God 
rule over our life. But how God can rule over our life if we don't submit ourselves to Him? That's why, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we really submit ourselves to God so we can maneuver our life. In Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your hearts. Lean not in your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all thy ways, and He will direct thy path. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we need to trust God, fully trust in our life. Let us give our trust to Him. Do not depend on ourselves. But we need to trust God in our life so He can really work for our life. God is a mysterious God. God is a miracle God. God is a healing God. Commit ourselves to the Lord. Trust in the Lord and then He will act. The proof that we are trusting God is that He doesn't act. He will fall. He will flat on our faces. What have you done in the last week, in last month, last year, which has depend for the success failure on the inversion of Almighty God? What have we done where our outcome would have been different depending on whether God actually existed or not. In fact, most of the time, we don't rely on God for what we do. We rely on our human understanding. We rely on our natural, natural abilities and our skill all experience. We rely on bank accounts which are always there to fall back of things don't go as well as we plan. As I mentioned, my brother and sister, that God will never leave us nor forsake us. In Jeremiah 9.23 says, Let the wise man boast of his wisdom, or strong man boasts of his strength, of rich man boasts of his riches. In verse 24 say, But let who boast about this, that he understood and know me, that I am the Lord, who exercise kindness, justice, righteousness, and on the earth for in this I delight. We are trusting God, my brothers and sisters, with all our hearts, when only thing we have to boast about is not our wisdom or our strength or our riches, but simply we know God and He knows us when He delighting ourselves in the Lord. We receive the desire of our heart when, because receiving the blessing and approval is absolutely the only thing in the Word that matters us we can spend a lot of time and energy of thinking trying to work out that we should be doing in life in our own lives and in life of the church maybe but what our aims what should our worship be like? What activities should be running? How can, how can reach different kids, people? How can we care for people? My brothers and sisters in Christ, we need to trust the Lord in our life. We need to trust God in our, in our daily life. The truth is that that even when we, a minister or a missionary of a church or any Christian don't make, Christian does make all right choices, 
does all the right thing, there is no guarantee that success, however you seek to define, it will follow. Sometimes things do wrong because we mess it up. And sometimes things succeed when we do right thing, but but when we must never assume that when things do not turn out right is because we have done something wrong. This is a this is a fallacy of the excluded middle. The reality is that things can do go less. Less than perfectly, even we do everything right. Sometimes because of satanic, satanic position. Sometimes because we live in a fallen world. Sometimes because the church is made of fallen human being. But most because we follow the servant king whose victory and glory came. Through submission and suffering and sacrifice and powerless for Christian. Relying on levels of success as measure whether we are doing the right thing or in in a in a viability, a recipe for discouragement, depression, and disaster. So how do we know that the Lord is making our path straight? This is where the circular brings us right back to where we started by faith simply by faith only by faith we have done our best relying on god's grace to trust in god with all our hearts we have done our best to rely on our understanding but not rely on god and on his grace we we have done our best acknowledge God in everything we have said. And done. And then, all we can do is as brought us to to uh, wants us to be. And whether things seems being well, badly, And there things being well badly. We just have to trust that the great missionary put his way. Let us give our work, our plans, our serve, our our our. Uh, 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 let us give our works, our plans, ourselves, our lives to God, our loved ones, our influence. Our all right in God's hand. And then, when we have given all to Him, there will be nothing left us to trouble about. How do we know that the Lord made our path straight? Through faith, just faith, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all thy ways, and He will direct your path. My brothers and sisters, you may like to learn them of by heart. Maybe you might like mis like to try using the, these verses in particular way in the week ahead. Try use try try to use them in our life. At the end of each day, think back of events of day. Consider. What Proverbs 3, 5, 6 to say about our day. Then use the verses think about tomorrow that we hold. Let us use the verses in reflection right. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. What specific things do I need to do tomorrow to express the fact I am trusting in God? And lean at on and lean not on your own understanding. What will do I do different tomorrow if I am relying on God and now on my own understanding? 
in all your ways acknowledge him what i'll do tomorrow inwardly and public pub, publicly acknowledge god and his leadership over my life and he will make your path straight in what ways i will expect god to make my path straight tomorrow my brothers and sister in christ it is very clear in the word of god that like what he says in uh, psalms uh, 37 um uh, 37 uh, chapter 3 to 8 says trust in the lord and do good shall do well in the land and very thou shall be fed in verse 4 say delight thyself also in the lord and he shall shall give thee the desire of your heart commit thy way unto the lord trust also in him and shall bring it to pass and he shall bring forth the righteousness and light and at the judgment as the noonday rest in the lord and wait patiently for him fret not thyself because of him who prosper in his way because of the man who bring wicked device to pass my brothers and sisters in christ fellow uh uh, uh i encourage you at this time of pandemic let us trust god in our life remember what he say in his word the battle is not us but the battle is with is with him the battle is for uh, for him so god is the one will battle for us the one thing we need to do is we need to trust god in our life my brothers and sister in christ do not afraid as he mentioned he mentioned particularly in Joshua 1 9 God commanded us he say have not I commanded you be strong and be of good courage nor be dismayed nor be afraid neither be dismayed for the Lord thy God is with you wherever we go God is with us wherever we are now his presence is there even though we fall many times, God never fall on us. Even though we give up many times, God never give up on us. He is our only hope. He is our only trust. He is our only peace. His name is Jesus. Thank you, my brothers and sister. God bless you all. And I'm praying that God will work mysteriously in your life heavenly father i thank you for this wonderful evening that you've given unto us for this wonderful day i pray oh lord for all the seepers around the world especially my uh, fellow seepers on board the ship that they cannot go home yet oh lord lord i pray that you give them strength oh lord god lord let your anointing be upon them oh lord god shower them with your love shower them all love oh lord with your Holy blood, O oh Lord God, secure them, O oh Lord God, with your holy blood. Lord, give them strength physically, O oh Lord. Give them strength uh, mentally, O oh Lord God. Give them strength spiritually, O oh Lord God. Lord, I pray, O oh Lord God, at this time that you will work mightily in their life, O oh Lord God. That, Lord, guide your guidance will be upon us. That that your blessing will be upon us, O oh Lord God. Lord, bless its seafarer, O oh Lord God, around the world, O oh Lord God, especially for those who are suffering depression, O oh Lord God. For those uh, seafarer already uh, don't know what to do, O oh Lord God. Lord, I pray for them, O oh Lord God, that your holy and precious blood, O oh Lord God, will seal them, O oh Lord God, and the anointing and guidance of the Holy Spirit be upon them, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord. We bless your name. We magnify your name. And we bring back all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 
to all my fellow seafarers on board the mariners of the sea. Don't lose your hope because we have the big hope which is our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much my brothers and sisters. This is Brother Christopher from Seafarers of Christ Christian Ministry International on board Explorer, Explorer Dream. God bless us all and to God alone be all the glory.